the VentureX card from Capital One is really the new kid on the block when it comes to premium reward travel credit cards. It came out in late 2021, but I kind of wanted to reserve my judgment, reserve my review until I'd actually had the chance to have and use the card over the first year. So now that I've done that, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how I was able to get over $2,000 in value in the form of travel credit and travel perks from this card. I'm gonna break it down and show you exactly how I'm coming to that value, exactly where I was able to get that value. And then at the end, I'm gonna be talking about how much potential value you could get from using this card based on the current bonus being offered in 2023. So if that's something you're interested in, let's get into it. Welcome to my channel. My name's Abram. I like to make videos on travel hacking or finding ways to travel for cheap. So if that's something you're interested in, please subscribe to my channel because I'll post more videos on a bi-weekly or monthly basis. And if you find this video helpful or entertaining, please consider leaving a like because it actually helps my channel out a lot. So with that, let's get into it. So I'm just gonna clearly break down how I was able to get all this benefit by splitting it into four different categories. Category one is gonna be the vacation rental credit, which was offered as a bonus on the card at the time that I applied for the card. Category two is the travel credit that's offered as a perk of the card every single year. Category three is the airport lounge access programs that are offered as a perk of the card. And category four is gonna be through the actual points that I was able to earn through the bonus, through referral, and through actual two points back per dollar spend over the past year. So with that, let's just jump into it, starting with the vacation rental credit. Now this isn't something that's currently being offered. It might be offered at some point in the future, but I'm still gonna go through it because this was my experience. Um, as part of the bonus of the card, there was a $200 vacation rental credit that was offered and you could use it at different types of resorts or Airbnb was an easy place that you know would definitely be approved for it. I was actually able to use this at a timeshare promo offer that I went to so that I could get three free nights at a timeshare and they had a deposit that you had to put down that you got back and actually that charge triggered that $200 travel credit for me. So it actually worked out well. I was able to just cash that out because my deposit was returned to me after I went to the timeshare presentation. But for the most part, I think most people use this benefit at Airbnbs and who knows if this will ever get added back in the future as part of a bonus. It's hard to say, but just keep an eye out for it. So that's $200 right off the bat. The second place I was able to earn benefit is through the yearly annual travel credit and that is $300 and all you have to do to use that is by booking travel, flights, rental cards, or hotels through the Capital One travel portal. So I was able to use this. I booked flights. I forget which flight it was. It was probably something to Florida or Georgia to visit my wife's family or go to a wedding or something like that. But I was easily able to use that $300 travel credit. So that's another $300, which brings the total so far to $500. So we're already $105 over the annual fee and we're in the green without even getting to the other parts of the bonus. The third category where I was able to get value from the card is through airport lounge access. And some of these perks have changed a little bit since I finished my first year, but for me, the Capital One VentureX Priority Pass program was top notch. For those of you that don't know, it gives you unlimited access to Priority Pass lounges, and for the first year that I had it, it also gave me unlimited access to Priority Pass restaurants, and one of the best parts of it is you can get more authorized users, up to four authorized users on this card for absolutely free, and all of those authorized users get full Priority Pass benefits as well. So I actually added my wife onto this card, so she was able to get this benefit, and my sister, who did a lot of international travel over the last year, I also added onto this so that she could have unlimited Priority Pass access as well. So I was really able to get a lot of value out of this. Between myself, my wife, and my sister, we visited Priority Pass lounges 15 times and Priority Pass restaurants 12 times. And I think that's a little bit of a conservative number. That's what I was able to actually keep track of, but I'm pretty sure I've likely missed a couple of visits here and there. And it's a little bit hard to value Priority Pass lounge accesses. If you're actually to pay per visit, it would cost you $35 every entry. It's definitely not worth that much. I don't think I would never actually pay $35 per entry. So I valued each of those Priority Pass visits at $10 each, I think that's pretty reasonable. You're going in, you're getting food, snacks, coffee, sometimes a significant amount of food. So I feel like that's actually conservative. And for the Priority Pass restaurant access, each of those visits, it's a little bit different. You're actually able to basically spend money at the restaurant up to $28 and that will be canceled off your bill. Anything more than $28 you would just have to pay for. So. I usually would end up getting pretty close to that. So I value each of those Priority Pass restaurant visits at $25 each. So that adds up to $150 in value for the Priority Pass lounge visits. 
and $300 in value for the Priority Pass restaurant visits, which gives you $450 of value for the airport lounge access through Priority Pass. And VentureX has Plasm Premium lounge access now. I never actually used that over my first year, so I'm not counting that. And it also gives you access to Capital One lounges, which for my first year, they were only in Dallas-Fort Worth. They're adding them soon, if not already in Denver and New York, I believe but I never actually visited those lounges either. So I'm not counting any of that value in value that I got over the first year. So now for the fourth and final category, value I was able to get from points earned through the card. First off, at the time I signed up, there was offered a 100,000 point signup bonus after spending $10,000 on the card in the first six months. So I was able to get that card, I added my wife as an authorized user, and we were able to put just our everyday spend on that card and some travel purchases and get that $10,000 in order to get that 100,000 point signup bonus. And after having the card for a little bit, I had a lot of good things to say about it, and I actually convinced my dad to get the card as well, and through that I was able to get a 25,000 point referral bonus. So that brings my total to 125,000. And then just in everyday spend, mostly with the two points per dollar you get with the Capital One Venture X card, I was able to rack up another 41,065 points. And that was on spending somewhere around $20,000 over the last year between my wife and I. So that's a points total over the first year of having the card between my wife and I of 166,065 points. And one of the great things about Capital One points is they are super easy to redeem for at least one cent per point. And that's pretty much how I use all of my points. I redeemed everything for one cent per point. I didn't try to use transfer partners to get better value. It was just super convenient to do. Um, if you wanna know some of the best ways to use Capital One Venture X points, you can check out a video I already did. I'll make it come across the screen there. But really, for almost exclusively, I would make travel purchases on the card and then I would use the cancel purchase tool to just basically get a statement credit for that amount. And I was able to get over the last year, $1,566 worth of travel credit through those points. And I still have $94 in points remaining. I was able to fly to Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Las Vegas. I rented a car in Las Vegas. I used it to cover a little bit of airport parking charge that I had. Really, I was able to do so much with that value. It's incredible how much value you can get out of this card just in the first year and everything for just a $395 annual fee. It's crazy. So again, just with points, that's $1,566 in value. I was already able to get with $94 remaining, which is a total value of $1,660.65. And just to reiterate, that's only if you redeem it for one cent per point. If you really wanna be kind of a try hard and get super value with your points, you can use the transfer partners. And if you do that, the points guy values an average per point price of 1.85 cents per point when you use transfer partners through the Capital One transfer program. So if you were able to actually do that and get the average value that the points guy says you can get, that would be $3,072 I potentially could have gotten with my points. I didn't choose to use it that way, but if you really wanna go through that effort, there's that much potential out there for you. Now, quickly before I total everything up to give the complete value of points that I earned, I wanna just mention the things that I didn't use, which were potential value that I left on the table that you could potentially use if you got the card. There is the $100 Global Entry or TSA PreCheck credit that I didn't use. I already get TSA PreCheck through a different method, so I didn't bother with that. There is, I actually previously mentioned the Capital One Airport Lounges and the Plaza Premium Lounges. I didn't get any value out of that because I didn't use those benefits. And there's also the Hertz Presidential Circle status you get through Hertz, the rental car company. And you can get a lot of value through that, through upgraded cars and different things like that. I didn't use any of those perks and those areas that I could have or you could in the future potentially get value out of this card. But quickly after that, let's just total everything up to see how much value I was able to get with this card over the first year. I got the $300 travel credit. I was able to use the whole $200 vacation rental credit. I got $450 in value from Priority Pass Lounge and Restaurant Access. And then I was able to get $1,566 worth of travel credit redeemed using points. So that comes to a total of $2,516. And that is with 9,400 points remaining or $94 in points. If you include that in, it's $2,000. $610 in the first year on this card, $395 annual fee, and I was able to get $2,610. That is honestly absolutely insane. It's crazy how much value you can get out of some of these travel credit cards 
in the first year when you take advantage of their bonuses. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this card in the years to come because most of that value came from the bonus and they also took away Priority Pass restaurant access, which I really valued a lot because there's two restaurants at my home airport, but there's no question at all that for the first year, you can get a ton of value out of this card. So it's really a no brainer. If you have a good enough credit score to get this card and you're someone that is financially stable enough to make sure you never carry a balance, you make sure you pay it off in full so you're not paying interest, it's a no brainer. There's almost no way to not get value out of this card for the first year if you can get the sign up bonus. So to end, I'm just gonna quickly go over how much potential value you could get from this card if you got it based on where the bonus currently stands now, 2023. It's unfortunately not as good as the bonus that I got when I signed up for this card. They really had a high bonus at the beginning to get people initially interested in this new premium travel credit card. But where the bonus currently stands is 75,000 points you will get if you spend $4,000 on the card in the first three months. So you really get your value from that 75,000 points and from the $300 travel credit. So if you were just to do the bare minimum, just spend $4,000 and no more on this card, how much value would you get? Well, you'd get the 75,000 points from the bonus, you'd get 8,000 points from the $4,000 in spend that you got, bringing your point total to 83,000 points, and you'd also get the $300 travel credit. So if you use the $300 travel credit and you redeem that 83,000 points for one cent per point, that would be $1,130 in value or $735 in additional value if you subtract the $395 annual fee. And that's not counting potential value you might get from the airport lounge program, not counting potential value you might get from the rental car status, not counting potential value you might get from the $100 TSA pre-check or global entry credit, not counting any of that. So all that is potentially ways that you can increase your value even more, but at a bare minimum, you'd be getting $1,130 worth of value. So it's no $2,610, but you can't complain about $735 of free money. That's something that is just out there waiting for the taking. And you never know if you wait, there might be bigger bonuses that come along, but for the time being, I wouldn't expect it. It seems like they're pretty settled into this 75,000 points. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope this really showed you guys what kind of potential there is out there. This is sort of what I'm talking about. This is why I made this channel so that you could see how much value is just sitting on the table. If you kind of read the fine print and wait for the good bonuses to come along and really utilize the perks that are offered by these cards, the sky is really the limit and how much value you can get out of it. This was just one example and I was able to get $2,600 worth of benefit. If this is something you're interested in, please subscribe because I'll be posting more videos on a monthly basis. And if you found this video helpful or entertaining, please leave a like because it actually helps my channel out a lot. So with that, have a good one.